Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Boeing 747, the jumbo jet of the skies. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. Certified to fly with 3 engines. As you may know, most passenger airlines these days are 2 engine airplanes, and the 747 is really the last major airliner that uses 4 engines. But did you know that it's certified to fly with just three engines? I'm not talking about in an emergency situation where one engine fails and it could still fly safely. I'm talking about the fact that when Boeing made the 747, they made it so that if one engine is shut down, it is still certified to fly normally in its operations. This means that as a pilot, you could intentionally shut down one of the engines before the flight and take off and land at your destination as planned. And that's all within the operating limits of the airplane. It's incredible that they were able to make this airplane and such a large airplane at that to be able to fly with just three engines. You can imagine the glide ratio is probably very, very good. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact two, active in passenger flights. A common misconception with the 747 is that it's all been retired out of the skies and that only cargo jets are flying around now. But did you know that there's actually still active passenger flights with the Boeing 747? In fact, major airlines such as the German Lufthansa still flies the 747 on a regular schedule basis. Other airlines such as the Korean Air also still flies the 747 on a regular basis. So, if you are an aviation buff and you want to take a ride on a 747 and you have not had the chance to, you really should look for these airlines to begin your journey. You should act fast though, because eventually it will only be cargo jets flying around that are 747s. Cool, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. Boeing Dreamlifter so the 747 had many variants, and this is the one I think is the most interesting, the 747 Dreamlifter. You see on this picture, it looks quite different from the regular 747s. The obvious bulge in the middle was retrofitted and designed to hold larger cargo than the 747 normally could. The Dreamlifter is a unique airplane that only four are ever built and they're all currently owned by Boeing but operated by Atlas Air. They all took a 747, a regular 747, and they flew it to Taiwan to convert it into the Dreamlifter. The Dreamlifters are still very much active. Though you don't see them in the sky very often, they have been used as recently as 2020 and 2021 for COVID-19 to transport large shipments of masks and personal protective equipment to countries worldwide. In fact, the state of Utah requested one to transport masks and PPE to its state. The Dreamlifters are a unique aircraft that competes with the Airbus Beluga, but is still very much active in being used. Those Dreamlifters have a unique rich history and hopefully they are not going to be retired as fast as those passenger jets are. Great, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4, January 31, 2023. This is a significant day for the 747 because the last ever 747 rolled out of Boeing's factory and was delivered to Atlas Air. Yes, it was a cargo plane because there are no passenger airlines ordering new 747s anymore. And Atlas Air is by far the largest operator of 747s. Seems that they use them primarily as their default cargo jet. So on this day, January 31st, 2023, the last ever 747 was produced and rolled out and flew away to its custom. Boeing has now shut down the production line for 747s and is now in the complete maintenance mode 
to simply service and maintain existing aircrafts. It has been a very long run from the 1970s till today, and similar to other large jumbo jet fate like the 380, Airbus 380, people no longer wish to travel in such large aircrafts. They want smaller aircrafts with more frequency between their destinations, so that they have more choices on the time of departure and arrival. The 747 will remain as the most iconic aircraft ever built. Let's get to the last final fact, conversions. As we talked about many, many airlines retiring their 747s, a number of incredible uses are being thought of every day. Retired 747s have been converted into restaurants all around the world for people to dine in, I suppose in an aviation themed kind of restaurant. Not only that, there are also different types of uses that the 747 has been converted to, such as hotels and coffee shops. It is very interesting that they've decided to use the 747 as their structure and I would imagine that even though the interior is very spacious and large, I'm not sure about dining or sleeping in a 747, but it could be very novel. There's also another big use, which is the movies. Hollywood and other movie production companies have used retired 747s for their movie productions. The interior set could be an airline or it could be something else, and the outside as well could be used for scenes that involve 747s. So even though the plane is retired, its uses are just unlimited. That's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.